this is the quarter square connector block. It's just a giant quarter square triangle. And I have no idea why I put this on point, but I will fix that. There's one way to do it. We can do the rotary cutting method where we cut a 13 and a quarter inch square and cut it in half diagonally twice. Then you'll have four patches and you'll need two patches of each color for one block. So if you cut a light and a dark each at 13 and a quarter and you cut them on the diagonal twice, you'll have enough for two blocks. And we're, if you do the regular piecing method, you're just going to take two triangles and sew them together like this. And then sew two of these together into the hourglass block or the quarter square triangle block. And this is the sampler setting number four, I believe. You can use these blocks to set your sampler blocks. They create one block will have a light background and one block will have a dark background and it looks like the blocks are set on point. I have the instructions down here if you want to make a 60 by 84 inch quilt with five blocks across and seven down. If you cut one strip of fabric 13 and a quarter inches times the width of fabric, you'll get three of these big squares. So those instructions are here. What we're going to do today, here is the fabric I've chosen and you've seen this before. This is from Studio E Fabrics. It's called Just Color, the collection, and I think this is called Slate, but I'm not sure. And this is from Island Batik. It's from the Dashes collection. And it's this color is salt and pepper. So I have two of them put together, right sides together, and I'm going to draw a diagonal line And I'm actually going to make two giant half square triangles. So I've drawn this diagonal line. I'm going to stitch on either side of, of the line, quarter inch. Then I'm going to trim on the line and I'll have two big half square triangles. Now I've stitched uh, on either side of the diagonal line and then I cut the, the pieces apart on the diagonal line like this. Now I pressed. Normally I press all my seams open but for this technique you'll get better results if you press towards one fabric. So I'm pressing toward the dark fabric on each of these. Now we're going to take these two halves and put them together right sides together and we're going to nest the seams. So here is the dark and here is the light and that's the opposite on this side. And you can feel, since you pressed in one direction, you can feel if these seams are nesting. And then I put some pins. Just to keep them together, they're so, it's such a big piece of fabric. And be sure they're all nested. Now we're going to draw a line Make sure all these things meet. Now we're going to draw a line on this diagonal. We're going to sew on either side of this diagonal line and then cut on the diagonal line again. So now I have stitched on either side of this diagonal line and when I cut along the, the marked line I'll have two pieces like this, two hourglass blocks just like this. Now if you're not sure about your seam allowance, oh here's the other one. If you're not sure about your seam allowance, instead of cutting these patches at 13 and a quarter, cut them at 13 and a half, a little bit bigger. Go ahead and sew it just the same way and then trim it down to 12 and a half inches when you're finished. Now I'm going to cut this and press it and then check my measurements.
Um, here are our two blocks we got from the two pieces of fabric. Here's the back. There's one seam that's pressed to the dark side of the fabric and then the second seam is pressed open. Now I measured these and they're, you know, a little bit off but nothing the little fudging can't fix. I think next time I am going to cut it larger at 13 and a half inches instead of 13 and a quarter. If you want to know more about quarter square triangles, I have a link in the description to my tutorial on the quarter square triangles. Thank you for watching.